welcome back to some more of Cars Rosarama, and where we are now going to be doing episode 20, and ultimately, I did have a look in uh, Doc's garage to see if I could do any customization, and apparently, that is not proven to be the case, unfortunately, so I am instead just going to transport myself over to the second point-to-point -point race, and this is our objective. Race through Santa Carbarara to reach the finish line. Pace your turns because this beach front town has a lot of tight street corners. The salty air should keep you sharp. Well, as long as the salt doesn't get into my eyes, it should keep me sharp. As long as it's only on the skin and uh, not right where um, the... Uh, corneas of my eyes are, or the retinas. As long as it doesn't hit either the cornea or the retina, then I should be okay. Race through Santa Carbarera to reach the finish line. Pace your turns, because this beachfront town has a lot of tight street corners. The salty air should keep you sharp. Basically the same description as we had before. And furthermore, we also get another street racer in this. And apparently he is... Sorry, she is one of uh, Chick's assailants. And yep, okay. I think someone just caused the big one into turn one. As much as I really tried to avoid that, it, ba it basically felt like I was... It basically felt like Monaco 1980 all over again, where basically all the drivers just thought... Where most of the drivers thought it was somehow a good idea to just literally pile straight into turn one. And by the way, that did actually happen at Monaco one year in 1980. At least I think it was 80 when that happened. And apparently... Yeah, I should probably also mention the street racer we're up against, who was leading this thing, is apparently called Candice. Although, to be completely honest, whenever I do think of the name Candice, I usually think of Phineas and Ferb. Which, ironically enough, is a cartoon I used to watch. Not necessarily one of my favourites, but... That's more or less who I tend to immediately think of whenever I hear the name Candice. And apparently I am catching up. And I really don't want to wind up, win wind up losing this on my first attempt. Although it won't surprise me if I do end up losing. Although in saying that, I now take the lead for the first time. As we now head through the cave, and just gonna have to try and keep my car off the wall. And that was quick. Somehow, in spite of me getting caught up in the big accident that literally just happened right there in the first corner, somehow in the end, I still won the race. Somehow. So this is the final classification order. So I won the ra I won the race in the end by 2.2 seconds over Candice. Then we essentially had one of the Doc Hudson Academy students in third. Couldn't tell you which one. Ramon finished in fourth ahead of Sa. Sorry, ahead of Fillmore. Doc was then in 5th ahead of Flo, and at the back was once again Sarge. And it took me less than 2 minutes to win that race, but I really did not think it was going to be possible for me to actually win that event on my first attempt after getting caught up in the absolute calamity that was Turn 1. It just felt absolutely stupendous to assume I would actually win that race but somehow I still did. Anyways, that is now our second point-to-point -point race done, and 
Next time we shall be doing our first relay race, apparently. Coming up next time. Relay Race 1, in the next episode.